Let's talk about the episode. Let's talk about the episode. So, Basketball Wise Season 9, Episode 6. OG. Now, OG, I love you. I must admit, I love you. However, you came on this whole entire season, this season, with a grudge against everybody in the bunch. I mean, everybody. You didn't hold no hoes bar. You wanted to call everybody colorist that was talking about you, all this and that. Now that we got an understanding, now that we sitting down talking about it, now that we trying to blame the ones that should be blamed, you going around blaming everybody and calling them a colorist and all this and all that. Then you giving examples. Then you then threaten a new girl that ain't been there a whole 24 hours. Now you threatening her. Like, OG, I am here for you. I love what you bring for this show. But why did you come on this show again? If you got a nasty taste the first time around, why would you come back the second time around with a ven with a vengeance and a grudge against everybody there, including Jackie? Even you said your best friend, the one that always had your back on the show, Jackie, now you calling her a colorist. Not to mention OG. You are very particular on what you say. You are very you crafty with your words, I should say. You very crafty with your words. You for example, when Jackie was trying to get all the girls to sit down and let's talk about it, Jackie then wind you up, Jackie then told you what's going down, how we gonna do this. Well, I wanna get this first one. When you and Jackie were sitting down talking, you said, okay, I'm willing to, you know, take blame or whatever, whatever you said, and then you um, went into the thing, you didn't even get a chance to go to the meeting before you started attacking the new girl. It's just like you very crafty with your words. Like, I didn't say it like this, I said this. Oh, I didn't do it like that, I did it like that. Like, you are, I must admit, OG, you are very crafty, and you know how to use your words to make somebody look silly. Even though you did say it, you might have not said it per se like they said it, but you said it that way. But then when they tell you, you said it like this and not like that, you go and turn it around like, oh, I didn't say that. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, I'm not apologizing. Oh, I don't think I did nothing wrong. Oh, everybody a colorist in this group. Okay, if they all this and that, OG, why did you come back the second time around? Now we know if it was up to Shawnee after last season, you would have been gone. You couldn't come back on this show at all. Somehow, the producers, I'm guessing, saw this was going to be an explosive moment for you. Um, you were going to be the breakout star, or I don't know what they was thinking. But if they would have told me I can come back again, I would have told them I declined. If I ain't get what I want the first time around, and I didn't get to enjoy these girls the first time around, I didn't get what I wanted or expected out of these group of girls, why would I keep going back to these girls and now this a kumbaya moment because Shawnee moving to Houston and all the girls are trying to get along, every girl settling their problems with each other. Um, I skipped a couple of episodes, so I'm guessing... <clears throat> Everybody that made up besides OG and blaming everybody as a colorist, I'm guessing. Because I, yeah, I couldn't look at them other episodes. That, that, that was like boring. I like looked at the first maybe 40 minutes of it and I said, I, I'm done. But yeah, OG, I, I just don't understand why you came back. Like, why would you come back with these girls knowing the way you feel, knowing you're not going to be open to resolve anything, knowing you just a waste of time and a waste of energy. They did this to bring all the girls back together for one accord. Because normally when they do these love, you know, me ends and stuff, sometimes they go wrong. Sometimes they don't go as planned. But sooner or later, all the girls somehow or another manage to get along. And you know, I'm able to deal with this person in this room, even though I don't like her. But 
I ain't got no problem with problems with her. If she comes, she comes. If she don't, she don't. I ain't got nothing to say about it. That's y'all trip. So I'm cool with that. I, I, I'm cool either way. So OG, why did you come back? I, I, I'm just lost and confused on why you came back to this same show. Knowing that nothing was going to change with you, you think everybody is the color is, you think everybody was picking at your skin color, your hair, your toe, your nail, your arm, your last run, your eyelashes, your lips, your nose, your chin, your eyebrows, your facial hair, your chin, your chest hair. They was picking at all this, and I'm looking at you like, now, OG, I'm here for you. I'm down for you. Uh, maybe this time would be better for you. Maybe you might gain something or experience something. Maybe this will teach you either you're going get to get along with these girls or you just going to cut them off completely and be done with the show and move on with your life because you're obvious not you obvious not going to get what you want from these girls. So I just don't understand from my perspective, why would you come back into this hair hall you call a sisterhood that you want to be so a part of? I, I'm just lost, OG, to be square and honest with you. I'm lost. I don't know. I don't understand why you came back. I don't understand why you want to bring up this whole colorist thing. Um... You got Evelyn scared to make a move, bust a move. She came on the first episode crying about um, she being, you calling her a colorist and a racist and all this. So I'm just a little confused on why you came back, OG. You, you knew you weren't going to apologize or admit that you was wrong. You weren't open for discussion. You weren't open to admit your parts and wrong. And threatening that girl, the new girl. That was 100% wrong of you, OG. Now, why would you threaten that girl? See, you said as they calling you a gorilla and you are grand stuff and you are boiling in a china shop, but you just showed that same exhibit of problems that they had with you the first time around. What did that girl say to you so bad, OG? Even though she a newcomer, even though she ain't been in the house a whole 24 hours, even though she don't know you, would it would have hurt you to at least try to talk to the girl, have a discussion, see if she probably, you know, guide you, maybe pursue, maybe pursue you to try out, maybe try to help you out. And at this point, I'm with Jackie. Everybody a colorist, everybody a colorist. No, first you said everybody a colorist in this house. Then you turned around and switched it around and said, not Jackie a colorist. Then when Jackie confronted you and realized she was upset of what you said and she talked to the other girl, then she went to confront you again about this or mention it around somebody. Then you said, okay, fine, I'm a colorist too. Like I said, OG, you are very, very, very crafty when it comes to your words. I mean, you are very crafty. You know what to say and, know, and what not to say to know to get caught up in your words, even though you do manage to get caught up in your words. Like you said like that, but I don't really mean it like that. I might have meant it like that, but I didn't say it like that. Like, come on, OG. Like, you've got to get it together. Like, come on. Now I'm here for you and I'm rooting and I'm cheering for you. Hoping you can get an understanding. Hoping you can either like the girls, don't like the girls, move on with your life. Um, forget you ever met any of these girls, continue with your friendship on with Jackie or anybody else you want to pursue a friendship with on this show and go on, on with your life because at this point, OG, I don't know what you really want and what you're trying to gain from this show because it seemed like the meme, this trip was planned for a kumbaya between all the girls and their problems. Not for you to come, and when it's time for you to face your problems, now all of a sudden you got a problem. You can't admit you wrong. Everybody else admitting they was wrong. They might have picked at your clothes, your toe, your ear, your nose, your eyelashes, and everything else under the sun. But when it comes to you admitting where you was wrong, 
you don't want to do it and you can't do it and you won't do it and you feel like you ain't do nothing wrong. Like, come on, OG. Either warming up and admit that you was wrong because you was wrong a whole lot, 50% of the time of the season and you didn't do yourself no favors by threatening that girl about if she don't shut up or if she don't stop, I'll stop you from talking like, come on, OG, now you can't just go around threatening people like you is giving them aggression, like you is giving them anger. It's just like whatever come out of your mouth, you said, then when they confront you about it, oh, I didn't say it like that, or I didn't mean it like that, or how about this, I didn't mean it like that, it might have looked like that, but I really wasn't going to do what I said I was going to do, it was just a figure of speech, and oh, I was just being funny, so come on, OG, like, hopefully y'all get together. I really don't blame Shawnee for leaving at this point because Shawnee came on for one last hoorah before she moved to Houston. She wanted the sisterhood, try to make all the girls get along, you know. I'm guessing before the show end or get canceled or whatever the show going after this point. And she wanted to leave on a good note, Los Angeles, and go to Houston, you know, go to Houston with a clear conscience. So I don't kind of blame Shawnee. I really don't. You know, I really don't get along with Shawnee. But at this point, why are you here? So you want the free trip to be around all the girls where you can threaten them, bully them, say they colorist and all this and all that, and you don't try to resolve anything. So that's basically what you wanted out of the whole trip. Then on top of it, um... I don't blame Sean. I mean, I don't blame Evelyn for leaving neither. Like, Evelyn was really heartbroken. It, 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 they said you cried in the last episode, so um, we thought we was getting a breakthrough. We didn't get a breakthrough. Um, the way Evelyn going in a way from the, this, the first episode to now, I'm thinking that Evelyn willing to, willing to admit that she wrong him. Evelyn have apologized. Well, no, she haven't. Well, she sort of kind of in her way apologized. I'm thinking that she might have would have tried to give you a shot at apologizing and, you know, trying to get along with you. If you would have been open and you would have been, you know, able to handle the discussion and admit that y'all was both wrong and you probably could have, you know, it could have been a way a lot better. Like I'm saying, hopefully maybe with the help of, um, with the help of Jackie, she talked some sense into you. And hopefully, maybe you'll get yourself together, and maybe you, you know, you'll listen to Jackie and hope Jackie can save you because this basically is your last chance, OG. Like you're doing the same activity that you did the first time around. Either change, don't change. You don't want to listen to opening. You don't want to have a discussion. We can't really get into it because you trying to blame everybody and everybody. Like Malaysia said, that post about one monkey don't stop no show. Oh, you thought that was about you? No, that was personal life. That had nothing to do with you. Then she had to admit she was wrong there. So she had to take that and eat her words for that for accusing Malaysia or calling her a monkey. Then I'm pretty sure, well... Evelyn is petty in her own way, so I, I'm not going to discuss the little monkey thing about what what Evelyn posted on, what the Instagram she posted or Twitter. I, I told we hear her, 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 her reason for doing that, but yeah, that shows right there, you not open for discussion in the whole talk. How you want peace and to be, you know, have a discussion about colorism and all this, but you can't come to the table with an open heart and an open mind and try to, you know, clear your mind and try to get your... Huh?
how you trying to have an open discussion with something that you're not ready to take, you're not ready to handle, you can't open yourself or your heart to talking about it, you don't want to admit you wrong, so, oh gee, I just want to know why are you here running these girl perfectly, perfectly good girl trail when they here to try to amend fences with the person they have a problem with and you're not open. You want to blame everybody as being colorist and all this and all that, but you don't want to talk about it nor discuss it. So, OG, at this point, I hope you get yourself together. So, let's have a discussion about this. Do y'all think OG really up for talking about it, discussing it and all that? Or is she just here for a waste of time? And is she just on here to, I guess, to try to give the girls a hard time, try to add more to her, you know, colorism. I feel like they're colorist against me. They hating on my black chocolate skin and all that. So, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation. And let me know what y'all think about the episode in general. So, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.